What's good, Willie? What's good with you, Willie? Look, man, we're about 10 games in, right? And I've noticed that Warrior Nation is kind of divided on this subject right now, right? Willie Colley Stein off to an extremely slow start. Now, I've heard people point, yes, he missed all of training camp with the sprained foot. I get that. I get that. I also understand the human element of things. Reportedly, he turned down something like $9 million from the Hornets to come play with a contender, to come play with Steph and Dre, right? And compete for the first time in his career. So there's probably a level of disappointment right now as, as the reality sets in. Okay, okay, fine. That's fair, right? But not only is Willie higher than Snoop on a Sunday afternoon, he, he's almost acting like he's forgotten how to play basketball, right? Like he's acting like he doesn't know how to roll to the basket. He's not rotating. He's not getting his hands up to contest shots. He's not rebounding. He's a step slow. It's really just an inexcusable effort for a professional basketball player, to be honest with you, right? And so I also see some of Warrior Nations like, what are you complaining about Willie for? Like, you know, he's on a small deal, right? It, it, this, isn't, this isn't about value or contract size, right? I know we didn't trade anything for him and we're not committed to him long term. This is about wasted talent. That's what has me and a lot of other people just irate. First off, again, it's just not an acceptable effort from anybody who considers himself a professional in my eyes. But what makes it harder to swallow from someone like Willie as opposed to uh, an Alfonso McKinney or a Quinn Cook, right? Where those guys, they're kind of maximizing their talent. Like what, what exactly do you expect from them ultimately, right? They're, they're on the fringe of the league and their, their effort was usually there. They're just very limited talent, talent wise, right? And so ultimately you couldn't get too worked up about them disappointing you. But when you look at someone like Willie Colley Stein, who has the talent to be an all-star, it's just, it's just much harder to watch him waste that talent, right? And I'm not saying he should be an all-star, but he has the talent where he should be sniffing around the all-star game, particularly given the center position around the league, right? And if not now, when, Willie? If not now, when, right? And so give him the 10 games, all right? It's, it doesn't appear to be an in-shape issue. Kerr is going to give him opportunities considering you know, what the roster is right now, but he's playing 15, between 15 and 20 minutes a night. He's not that out of shape, but it's like in the bursts that he's playing right now, he's just not engaged, right? And so at a certain point here, you're going to see Marquise Chris and you're going to see Omari Spellman eat his minutes up because again, we don't have anything invested in him long-term. He's only costing himself money. So it is what it is. You got to love Spellman and you got to love Chris's effort. I had tweeted this out the other night. Look, they may not be the best basketball players yet, but you can tell their hunger. You can see the hunger out on the court. You can see the effort out on the court. And right now, that's all you can ask for with these young dudes. And we're not getting it from Willie Colley Stein. And so it's very frustrating. Those of you who have been watching my breakdowns, I'm not trying to go too hard on it, but it's just, it's becoming a reoccurring theme of him just having brain farts and a lack of effort. And it almost felt like last night, they're kind of starting to ice him out of the offense. Not like he gets a lot of volume, but it's like on his rolls, they're not even looking for him anymore because half the time he's not even rolling. So Willie, it's time to look inside and say, man, just have some pride. Have some pride, to be honest with you. And those of you that have been rocking with me a while know when I call somebody out, what happens? What happens? Right? So expect Willie to probably have his best game of the night tonight here at OKC in the back end of a back-to-back. -back. I expect this to be a rough game. You consider going into overtime and an emotional loss, flying into OKC. And the matchup-wise, stylistically, the defense, the athletes, it could be a short night for the Warriors tonight. But expect Willie to kind of just come through just because I, no, nah, that's too egotistical out. Calm down. But anyway, I just wanted to touch base with Warrior Nation because I hear some people trying to defend him and saying, also, like, why are people tripping about Willie? I'll tell you why we're tripping. We're tripping about Willie because of the wasted talent and potential. And it's frustrating to watch. And at some point, Kerr, when are you going to give Spellman his minutes? Because Spellman's hungry and Spellman has a lot of talent 
right? And you're seeing him change the game when he comes in. I thought down the stretch of that game last night in Minnesota, he should have been in there, not Willie. As far as D-Lo goes, go check my breakdown. 17-minute breakdown on his 52-point performance. I, I, all I'll say here is, the kid's kind of growing on me, man. He's kind of growing on me. I can't front. He's got a lot of sauce, a lot of flavor out there. Um, but moving forward on YouTube, I've got a couple trigger topics coming up here soon. A, a Kobe versus LeBron video and some stuff like that. So, man, please support the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. Hit the subscribe, right? And just support Real Sports Talk. Go through and look at my stuff. This isn't theatrics. This isn't clickbait. This is real pure sports talk. So support your boy. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. I've been winning so long, it's like.